Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Here for Gemini. So we're gonna jump right into this energy. Uh, Gemini. Ah, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. So you get some, some clear and concise messages for the time of Gemini. Messages for Gemini, messages for Gemini. Got the emperor on the bottom of the deck. Okay, with the page of pentacles here. It could be some type of office here. Um could be in work here, but it also could be in emotions. Okay, with the seven of cups, we have options here. Um but with the Emperor and the Page of Pentacles, it tells me that some type of you could have got some type of promotion here as well. Here, or you could be taking charge of some type of opportunity here. There could be several opportunities, and you have to take charge of one. And it could be causing disappointment to somebody. But there's a leap of faith, possibly. So let's see what's going on now here. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, there we go. Starting off the read. Who started this? Um, this is the same way Taurus started they read. Okay. So starting off with uh, some clarity. Starting off with your, your energy in the read here. Okay. Yeah. There's some type of conversation that's going to happen here that could possibly cause some heartbreak to somebody here. Or there's clarity. Clarity or clear communication that's causing heartbreak here. But a victory at the same time. Okay. With the Knight of Swords, it says that somebody's going to be coming in here and speaking truth. Some truth that possibly was held back or just was not spoken before because the possibly was heavy. But it's become so heavy that they just got to put it down at this point. Yeah. Ten of Swords. There's some type of ending taking place. But I do feel like there is growth out of this from this ending or through this ending there's an opportunity for growth because it says here that there's a communication that's going to hurt somebody, but then at the same token, it's going to bring in a victory. Okay, so what's on? What about this Three of Swords here? Queen of Swords, the High Priestess. Okay, somebody's going to be telling somebody that they're in a relationship or they found somebody else. So that's what it looks like here. The Three of Swords coming out with the Heartbreak card. Clarify with the, with the Queen of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Pentacles. So somebody knew this was coming, but it's just, it's coming slowly but surely here. Yeah. Somebody's, Gary, somebody's got to communicate. About a collaboration that's going to break somebody's heart. And what about the Six of Swords? Yeah, they've been keeping this to the, close to their chest here. That they found somebody that's inspired this. That, that they that's inspired, that, that, that inspires them. That they find sexy. The Queen of Wands is also the other woman sometimes, but... I, don't, I feel like this is not an other woman situation. I feel like you was dealing. You had options, right? And you made a choice of one. So now you got to go tell the other person that you chose your option. And it's going to break somebody's heart to know that you chose who your queen of swords or who your king of swords is going to be. You chose who you're going to collaborate with. But intuitively, I feel like you already knew who you were going to choose. You already knew this was coming. And it brought a lot of stress to you. Yeah. The higher fine. So we dealing with a Taurus. But you have uh, gotten into a relationship. And you got to tell somebody. Yeah. Four of Wands with the high refined and the Ace of Pentacles. You've gotten into a relationship. 
You made your decision. There's a cycle that you're closing here where you were in and out or inconsistent. Well, you're being consistent now. Okay? Or you're closing. It's a cycle that's being closed here to being inconsistent, to making bad decisions and being inconsistent. Or making decisions to be inconsistent. Because you made a decision. You weighed out your options. You even took some time to be alone to think about this. And you decided to, to be with somebody. To stand your ground. To, to stand up for what you believe in. You made a choice between two people is what it looks like. That's Gemini energy, the lovers. You made a choice to go after what you feel like uh, fulfills you. New love. Soulmate love. Emotional fulfillment type of love. Could be dealing with a water sign out here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But you definitely want to invest your all into them. Because they make you very happy and you feel like you got all the tools to do so. King of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. That's the second time a pair come out. But, so, but you had to wait. Somebody had to wait for somebody else to walk away and become single is what it looked like. So, but somebody's been avoiding walking away and becoming single because of that conversation that they know is going to hurt somebody else. So, they've been avoiding it. Stressed out about it, but avoiding no longer. Ten of swords with the ten of swords up there. Somebody's avoiding no longer. It's going out in the cold. Once and for all. Sorry. They got to leave you out in the cold. I mean, Gemini's leaving something out in the cold because they got something else that's worth not missing. Justice. Could be a Libra. But it's definitely new love, no matter who it is. And judgment says that it's good karma that was brought to you. Something new with the page of wands. After after having some after being guarded or being a wound, wounded warrior in a situation, but the page of wands and the nines of wands also the ten of wands. Heavy burdens. This is having new love after a really. toxic cycle let's call it toxic because it's heavy it was heavy it was it was stressing you out so it wasn't no good for you so after a cycle after re, after choosing to retreat from a cycle like that you find somebody that's emotionally um mature so yeah i feel like the conversation is gonna hurt but you gotta have it gemini I'm probably just going to name this bitch The Conversation. So let's get to the second part of the spread. Let's see what the kick of that got to say. God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Let's just do that for the Gemini. Messages for Geminis. Messages do we have for the Gemini? I'm um, getting for some of y'all, Gemini. This person that you gotta have this conversation with. They make you feel some type of, it's feel so, it's, they, for some reason you feel like this is, and look at that, it's still on the bottom of the deck. For some reason, this is somebody that you feel like you got to sneak away from. Definitely could be a Taurus. Somebody you feel like you got to sneak away from. So here we go. Who we got for us for Gemini? Sudden Wealth. In the reverse. High honor in the reverse. Coffin card.
This could be a completely different story. It could resonate in some way, shape, or form with the first one. But somebody is releasing something here. Somebody is realizing that the reason something is not happening for them is because it's not aligned with their path. With the sudden wealth reverse and high in the reverse, somebody's releasing something because they're realizing it's not it's not bringing in any anything, any good energy, any money, any positive anything because it's not aligned with high honor God. So they're putting an end to it with the coffin card. They put in a lot of work and didn't get no effort, and they realize that it wasn't. This is not what they were supposed to be working on with the despair card and the occupation card. What else? Yeah, false person. They realized that something was bullshit. So now they're, they're starting over. This could correlate. They're starting over with somebody new. That's an actual official person, not false. That has great fortune in upright, not success, sudden, so sudden wealth in the reverse. Sometimes you get the devil give you stuff quick. God don't. Sometimes you do, but sometimes you got to wait. But I feel like you're being gifted here for putting it into what didn't serve you. And the actual official person is coming in instead of that false person. What else? Yeah, somebody new. It's like I said, courtship is being open to something new. After having a false person in your life. Yep, the child come back out here. Something new is coming in. Imprisonment. With the despair in the reverse. Bad health. With community and it's poverty. Bam. Change. See, this in prison card is attached to high honor reverse in the death card. So I've watched somebody was playing games here being a false person. You got to go on to get something new and they got trapped here in spiritual jail with the imprisonment card. Somebody's in spiritual jail while you're coming out of despair here. Despair reverse. This person's got bad health. Them and they persons that was supporting this in their poverty. Ooh. Somebody fucked with the wrong Gemini. What do we have? And God didn't like that. Message. Expectation. Somebody could be having expecting a child too. Somebody could be having a with message coming in with expectation in the child. Somebody definitely could be pregnant. Some mature woman. The false person. That's why it's the Gemini is going on to find something new. To be free and have something new. Why this person stays trapped to this lady who had a baby. What with their lies. Uh, what else? Yeah. Why you go on to have something new. With an official person. As the main female. With the main male, with the great fortune, and the unexpected income, they stay stuck with this mature woman as a false person with this kid. Damn. Yeah, journey reversed, and it landed right on sudden wealth. It landed on top of that child. Now it is over. Ain't no journey with this person. But the journey never was with them. Yeah. That's why, you, again, something new. Some marriage. This is beginning something new. On top of the house. With the privileged lady. Now all the person can do is think and be concerned. Because they made they move that they made. And they trapped. So somebody's losing. This is saying that somebody's losing a Gemini here. For being a fake person here. Or somebody's losing a Gemini. For dealing with somebody who was false to trap them with the baby and now Gemini is no longer available what else yeah because Gemini has gone on a great fortune with the new house and the marriage and this person stuck in the family room with the baby 
better get ready to change them diapers. Yep. Main female. The main female came out. And then the mature man. See, I feel like this mature man is stuck now with this mature woman. But, I mean, because that's his pair anyway. Unless y'all swapping, <clears throat> which is odd, yeah. There he is, stuck in the family room, changing them diapers. The mature man. Doing all the, putting in all the work and getting no effort. The same thing he did to you. Karma's a bitch. There's a Gemini card, but it was in reverse. Somebody lost their lover's situation. And the privileged lady put in all the work, so she gets the new beginning. <laughs> now somebody concerned. Okay. Yeah, I bet. But whatever. That ain't your problem. And I know, hopefully you Geminis watch this whole thing through, because this is not going to resonate. The name of the title of the video is not going to probably resonate with this part right here, but I'm still naming it the conversation, even though the second spread is completely different, if it is, from the first one, okay? Okay. Capiche? Capiche. Okay. So let's get you some romance angels. The conversation. Let's get you some romance angels. Sky, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. What messages do we have for a Gemini? Romance angels. What romance angel messages do we have for the sign of Gemini? Romance angels for Gemini. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual past. Make the effort. So, somebody could be having, um, well, up until this point, religious factors has uh, created a problem, but somebody's like, let's, they're starting fresh. Look, they're making up, making an effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take because when they was a child, they was taught, taught something here as uh, a child. But I feel like this love is more powerful. Somebody else got that too. Um, yep, healing family issues. Your love life begin, uh, benefits as you forgive your parents. You forgive your parents for teaching you what they did not know. Worth waiting for. Divine time is at play. It work in your love life here. Okay. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So we still got some Geminis out there waiting on somebody to heal. Okay. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay. For somebody, it's worth the wait. That's not going to be for a lot of people. Not going to be for very many people at all. But it will be for somebody that had a past life relationship with this person. And they realize all the trauma that they've endured. But that doesn't mean like wait. For somebody, that means, you know, go on your side, do your thing, and meet back up with them, okay? Because there will be the possibility of a reconciliation, but not until this person can heal, okay? It's calling in your soulmate. So even though this person might be worth waiting for, somebody else is also coming in here as well. Stirring up your romantic feelings. It says romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Very soon, there's going to be some real romantic feelings. And they're going to be worth exploring. And it says, pay attention to the red flag. Signs are cautioning you. Yeah, so I feel like you are very hesitant about giving some relationship a chance. Okay? It's some relationship that you're very hesitant about giving a chance. And you prefer to have new love here. A new partner has stirred your romantic feelings. So, I feel like some Geminis are out there stuck between a rock and a hard spot here. Whether they're going to wait on somebody to heal their family issues in order to reconcile or go over for the new love. It's like past life love or new love. Which one do I choose? It's like, do I wait for this person or do I call in a new soulmate? Do I see very soon what happens or do I go ahead and look out here for somebody else? Do I give this relationship a chance or do... I don't know. Somebody feels like there's some red flags here being present. But honeymoon, enjoy the bliss holiday time together, yeah. The honeymoon. That's why I said I feel like this reconciliation could lead to a honeymoon. But then again, that's why I said you got deception coming out. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. 
So it's like you could reconcile with somebody. You keep calling in your soulmate in order to reconcile with them, but they keep waiting and not healing the family issues. They rather keep trying to come in without being healed, and it just can't happen. They got to make the effort, okay? Yeah. They could be the one if they just heal. It says this could be the one you have already met, the romantic partner you seek, okay? So, Gemini, we got new love here, and we got waiting on somebody, so... So, yeah, I feel like this could be the one. I feel like you met the person already. You got to express your love and engagement. We got engagement and honeymoon. Unrequited love. Then we got unrequited love. Somebody that you don't want. Heart to heart conversations. You got to have a conversation with somebody that you don't want. And you got to let your friends help you. Sitting there getting advice like, what should I say to this person? Because they're crazy. They need to heal. And I don't want to reconcile. They want me to wait. And I'm, I'm not waiting because true love. I got true love. I got new love. And I'm forgiving and I'm learning. Okay? And I'm freeing myself from this. There's some Geminis out there that just don't want to be dealing with this past person at all. They feel like it's safe for them. It says it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and receive. To give and receive the highest energy of all. So, yes, they want to go out and go new love. Okay? Because they feel like they deserve love and not to be dealing with this unrequited situation. Where this person is needing to heal themselves and they is just off the chain. Okay? So, that's what I got for you, Gemini. And I do hope it resonated. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in the next video. Namaste.